Antonio Guterres made a statement that it's time for make or break. What climate action will you be taking in your organization for the next 12 months? In my organization, we have a very simple but a strong purpose. Through science, through biology, we make a world a better place. We enable our solutions that uh, bring a healthier planet, that they uh, lead to lower CO2 emission reductions, that they lead to replace chemicals, that they enable healthier foods. The actions that I will take is to continue pushing very hard for a faster, prompter, effective penetration of biosolution. And also to do that responsibly. We are on a strong form trajectory of uh, reducing CO2 emissions. We have already reduced CO2 emissions, 46%. We're going to be continuing bolder on our path to carbon neutrality and responsibly also with the society that we live. It's not only about the how or the what, it's not only about the what, the solutions that we bring. It's not only about the impact, it's about the how. It's being a responsible citizen, a responsible employee, a responsible neighbor in the communities that we live. So those and are the actions that I'm taking with me. Thank you. And we've known about climate change since the 60s, nearly 61 years now. What do you think is the challenges or the bottlenecks or the elephant in the room that's, that's going to slow us down when we have to accelerate this transition? What I really like about the, the question you're making is that, yes, we have to accelerate. What I really like is that we are accelerating, maybe from a very slow path, but we are accelerating. If you, if you move, if you look backwards, if you pause for a second and you look where we were five years ago, nobody's questioning the need of 1.5, the validity of 1.5. Nobody's questioning the need of urgency. Nobody's questioning the need of bolder actions. Nobody's questioning the need of collaboration. So I think that acceleration is that we need to increase the speed of acceleration by embracing more the power of collaboration by embracing more the power of let it go it's about winning at the long run not about winning every single battle and but uh, seeking for alternative solutions that they need a change from what we have today and, and get move ahead from a, 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 a paradigm that it's not it's not moving us forward. And my final question: What gets you out of bed in the morning, and what keeps you awake at <laughs> night? The pride of what I do, the pride of that's what wake me up <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> the pride of what I do, the pride and the knowing and feeling that we are in my comp in the company that I have the privilege to work, helping, bringing our fair share of enabling a, a better world. Um, and, and being part of a full system, being here, for example, as a, a present on the conversations. Not, I know that we're not changing the world, me, myself, but you're making your fair share. You're embracing your fair share of responsibility, of bolder action and to drive change. What keeps me away, I sleep very good, but if something, uh, it's frustration is the speed. Yeah. The momentum, it's positive. The speed is just not fast enough. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.